If you are looking for some quick and easy breakfast ideas, so stay tuned because today we are going to make instant rava dosa for which you don't need to have any beforehand preparations. So let's see what all do we need for this. I've taken half a cup of suji rava or semolina as we say it, half a cup of rice flour and two tablespoon of maida or a plain white flour. Then to add, we will make a batter out of this. To add to that batter, we will be requiring these things. Half an inch of ginger, I have grated it. You can chop it also. Few leaves of coriander. Salt to taste. One teaspoon of cumin seeds. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. You can take crushed pepper also if you want. And a pinch of asafoetida or hing. Four to five curry leaves. And one teaspoon of mustard seeds so the curry leaves and mustard seeds we are not going to add to the batter so let's go one by one what we are going to start so i've taken a big bowl and i'm going to add semolina rice flour and the maida into this bowl and i've taken two cups of water so we'll add the water slowly and gradually because we need a thin batter out of this so we'll just keep on adding slowly. So we'll make a batter out of it. So I've already added one and a half cup of water into it because we don't want a very thick batter out of it. We need thin batter. So you just take two cups of water but don't add it all together. And because we have to keep it aside for at least 10 to 15 minutes, this batter, we have to cover it and keep it. So after that, it might become a little thick. So then we can use this water if we need more. So now we will add our ginger, our coriander leaves, salt, cumin seeds, our black pepper powder and the asafoetida powder. And we will not add the curry leaves at this point because we will give a tempering to this batter with curry leaves and mustard seeds. So that's the twist that I'm going to give to this rava dosa because generally the mustard seeds and curry leaves are not added. I've just added it to give it an extra taste. So now we are going to cover this batter and wait for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay friends, so it's already 15 minutes. So let us check our batter. Okay, it looks good. The semolina has not soaked much of the water because it depends. Sometimes the semolina is the thick one and sometimes it's a thin one. So if it is the thin one, it will not soak too much of water. So I don't need to add any more water to it. But if your semolina is thicker, you might need to add more water at this point. Just make sure that the batter doesn't stick on the back of your spoon. Okay, if it is in a runny consistency like this, this is perfect. So now we will make the tempering for it with mustard seeds and the curry leaves. I have taken half a teaspoon of oil in my pan. So I'll make the So our oil is hot. Now first we're going to add the mustard seeds to it and let it splutter and then we'll just add our curry leaves to it and put this into our batter this will just give a beautiful taste of the mustard seeds and the curry leaves it's just a good to do step if you want to skip this you can because generally you will not find mustard seeds and curry leaves in the instant rava dosa so now when the mustard seeds are starting to crackle just cover yourself be a little careful with that and now we will add our curry leaf. Just switch off your flame, put the curry leaf there that will also splutter and just a light stir and we will add it to the batter. That's all. Okay, now I have taken a few drops of oil on my tawa. For this, it would be good if you can have a heavy bottom tawa because we don't want our dosas to burn but to cook properly. So put the flame on medium to low, don't put it on high. When the oil is hot, just take a tissue paper or a kitchen towel and wipe this extra oil and spread it across the tawa. It will make sure that the tawa is not too much greased. This is what the restaurant people also do. So I have learned it from there only. So now let's one by one, with the help of a ladle, we will put the batter onto our tawa slowly. And you just have to spread it across. Make sure you spread it across. 
It should not be a thick one, it should be thin. That's when it will become crispy. So just spread it across. You can do it with the help of your ladle also, or you can just move the dava like this and it will be spread across. Now let's just wait for some time and in the meantime keep on adding the oil on the top of it and on the sides. We'll just wait. So after say 30 to 40 seconds, I'm going to flip it over. It looks good. So we'll just cook it from the other side also and make it a little light brown. So just wait for 30 to 40 seconds again. Okay now, so our dosa is almost ready. It's turning nice and brown from both the sides and we are just going to take it out now just keep the flame on low and take it out on the plate it looks wonderful from both the sides you can see it is showing all the leaves and the coriander leaves it looks yummy and smelling very yummy because of the mustard seeds so now like this, we'll make all the dosas one by one. Now the holes that you see when you're making this dosa is a sign that it is nicely done. So now, very simple to flip over. If you can, you want to make a big dosa, you can. Whatever you see, it's easy to flip, you can do that. It's a beautiful golden brown. That's a sign that our dosa is getting done nicely. Okay friends, so our instant rava dosas are ready and they look absolutely yummy. You can serve it with some coconut chutney or any dip that is available. Right now I'm serving it with a coriander leaf chutney and this absolutely is loved by kids and by all of us and it's the easiest way of making dosa within a very limited time. You don't have to prepare beforehand for this. That's the best part about this dish. Now for the tip of the day, if you want to give it a little bit of sour taste like the general dosa will taste, you can add one tablespoon of curd into the batter when we made it. So it will give it a little sour taste. So I hope you love this recipe. Please comment how you find it and like, share and subscribe and I'll be back with more quick and easy breakfast, dinner and lunch recipes. Thank you so much for watching.